Okay, this is gonna be a pretty quick one because I think we're counting down the minutes till my kids get home from school. But quickly, I have to show you my awesome shirt I'm wearing today. This is Whitney Houston. <laughs> um, my kids know that I love Whitney Houston and there's a documentary, or there is, I don't know if it's still in the theaters, but there is a documentary out about her life. And oh my gosh, it took everything inside of me not to be singing along in the theater, it was so good. Anyways, my son gave me this shirt for Christmas and I'm sporting it today and I'm loving it. Today's a sweats day for me, by the way. And so I thought this Whitney Houston shirt was perfect. Anyways, today I want to talk to those of you who, many clients have expressed this, but also just those listening I'm sure can relate. Those of you who sit with people while eating, right? Eating with family or friends or spouse or whatever, and you observe watching them eat quote unquote normal amounts of food and verbally saying that they're full and then just naturally stopping. A lot of people with eating disorders get very emotionally revved up by that because you'll see it and you'll think, what on earth is wrong with me? Because you'll see the plate that they ate and you'll see the plate that you're eating and you feel like you could eat your plate times his plate times your kid's plate times everything times 50 and everybody else is full. And it's a very isolating feeling to have. I felt that so much in recovery. It took so much one for me, so much effort, first of all, and discipline, first of all, to stop paying attention to what was on others' plates. But two, when I saw that happen, even if they didn't say, wow, I'm so full, just seeing them naturally kind of put their, you know, fork or spoon down and move on or continue on with conversation while food was still left on their plate was like, like my brain would just spin and I couldn't comprehend it, right? I was really hungry then though. I was really hungry then. So of course I was going to need way more food than what they were eating, one. And two, <clears throat> of course it was hard for me to like imagine a day where I wouldn't want to finish or lick my entire, you know, polish off my entire plate of food and then want more and more and more and more. Even when I felt full, I was still interested in food. And that is such a, a um, unsettling feeling when you have an eating disorder, right? But this video is about you acknowledging the fact that you're not alone in that. So many people, everyone in recovery is going to go through a period like that. And if you get too hyped up or you get too obsessed with trying to <clears throat> match what other people are eating, or you allow your brain to take off with all these negative thoughts of how you're out of control and you're never going to stop and you're broken. And why can't your body tell you when it's full and actually want to stop eating and blah, blah, blah. your brain, <clears throat> excuse me, is just going to go down this rabbit hole of disastrous thoughts that are going to sabotage your recovery. And so when you sit down to eat with people, first of all, I want you to do your very best, commit to not looking at and trying not to notice what they're eating. And second of all, already assume, just go to the table assuming and knowing you're going to eat way more than everyone else. So when someone's finished eating, you probably have three more plates to go, right? And just already kind of anticipating that that's going to happen so that when it does, you're not so discouraged and frustrated and oh my gosh, they probably didn't even eat lunch and I have eaten this and this and this and your brain starts going through all these things that you ate that day and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I still could eat so much more and what's wrong with me? I'm broken. It's such a scary, isolating feeling to be in that position. But if you continue going and you keep pushing past those fears and you don't entertain those thoughts and you eat and you eat and you, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I have something in my throat today. <clears throat> and you eat and eat and eat and eat and don't let that fear stop you. And you don't let um, your, um, the urge to compare to keep you from giving yourself full permission to eat. Remember, you you are recovering from eating disorder. You're an energy debt. And even if you're getting close to being out of that energy debt, your brain is still recovering from years, months, decades, I don't know, restriction. And so of course it's gonna want more food for quite some time. A lot of times people will say, well, I've already gained weight. I'm already weight restored. Um, I'm not an energy debt. I can guarantee you I'm not an energy debt anymore. I just always wanna eat and I wanna eat so much and what's wrong with me? Well, your brain's just being really smart. It's thinking, you know what? We've been through kind of a lot of crappy stuff in the past, a restriction, and <clears throat> I've felt like I've been in a famine, and you know, surely I wanna make sure that doesn't happen again. And so it's gonna kind of continue to keep that drive to eat really high. Doesn't mean you're broken. And I know I can tell you without a doubt that will eventually subside. That will eventually over time, and that will usually take over a year, by the way. I feel like after about a year, I was like mentally in a very good place, but my appetite was still quite elevated. 
And I think it was just the repercussions of those years of restriction. And so be patient, be courageous. Don't compare what you're eating to other people. Don't think you're going to go straight from restriction to eating like so-and-so, you know, over there, or your spouse here, or your friend you went out to lunch with. Don't ever think you're going to eat the same amounts of them, even like not now, but also not for a very long time. Maybe not ever. You may just have, you may be a person who needs to eat a lot more food and that's just who you are and that's okay. Own that. Don't try to change that. Don't hope and wish that appetite away. Just let it be. There's not a problem with having a big appetite. All right, have a good day.